Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding count student number in departments and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Twitter interviews over the past couple of years. Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called student with four different columns, student ID, student name, gender and department ID. Student ID being the primary key for this table and department ID being the foreign key to the department ID in the departments table. So basically there is a second table called department, right? Each row of this table indicates the name of a student, gender and the ID of their department. Obviously, we have a second table as well called department with two different columns, department ID and name, department ID being the primary key. Each row of this table contains the ID and the name of a department. Now, we are asked to write a SQL query to report the respective department name and the number of students majoring in each department for all the departments in the department table, even the ones with no current students. Okay, the Table should be returned ordered by student number in descending order and if there is a tie by department name in ascending order basically, right? Let's go through this example, right? So for here, we have three entries, right? And three departments. So engineering, science and law, department ID is one, two and three. So in engineering, how many students do we have? We have Jack and Jane, right? So two for department ID two, that is science, we have one person mark and in law, we don't have anyone, right? So engineering two, science one and law zero, that should be the output, right? So since the information is in two different tables, right? The first thing that we should do is we should join these two tables. Also, should we, you know, keep this table on the left or this table on the left? If you read about this question clearly, you will find out the answer to that, right? In each department for all departments in the department table, right? If you write student left join this, right? So it will say okay, on department ID, right? So it will go and find, okay, one, it is able to find, two, it is able to find, but three is not going to be, right? So since three is not here, so there is not going to be any row with three. So even if you group by department name, you won't be having that department in the, in your final output, right? But if you do the other way around that from department table, left join the student table on department ID, then it will say, okay, one, it will find two matches, have two rows. For two, it will find one match, so one row. And for three, it won't find anything. So whatever columns you return after the join, it will be having null values, right? But this join will contain all the departments in the department table. So let's start building this query. So from this department table, aliased as D, let's left join the student table, aliased as S on D dot department ID is equal to S dot department ID. And let's return certain columns only, right? Because that is what we need. We need the name of the department right and the number of students in each of the department right so let's return since department table only has two columns let, let's return all the columns so both the columns of department table and then from the student table we don't need name gender or department id because department id is already going to be present in this one we don't need these all we need is student ID and since student ID is the primary key for the student table, if we just count based on that, then we are going to get that number that in each of the department, how many students are majoring in, right? So let's just return S dot student ID, right? So let me run this. Obviously this is not complete. So it is going to be a wrong answer, but let's see what this is happening. So, okay. Okay, so we have department ID, department name and student ID. So you see one engineering and two, right? So if you see department ID, engineering, and it is going to find, okay, so this we have student ID one and two, right? So here you have student ID two, the here you have student ID one. Similarly for science and law, right? For law, since there is no one, right? Since there is no student majoring in law, it is returning the student ID as null right so what we can do is we can save this in a common table expression so with cte as put this entire thing in parentheses right and then what we can do is from this common table expression 
we can group by because for each of the departments right we need to find the number of students right so we can group by department name right and then return the department name and we also need to return the number of students majoring in that right so what we since here we saw that for law the student id came out to be null right so for there it should be zero right if you just simply route write count star here right so since in the group in the table right after you group by there is going to be one row even though the student id is going to be null right it is going to have one row so if you just directly write count star here it is going to return okay so for engineering there are two people for science one and for law one but def but that is wrong right for law it should be zero so what we need to do is we need to break that by into two cases so case when student id is not null right then you return the count star right else you return zero and since you started the case when statement end this and since in the output you need student number or that is the alias of the column so we just write it here right so basically what is this going to do so for each of the group right so for engineering it is going to see okay do we have student id not null and every you know every uh, department id that is present in this one if you join right the student id is not going to be null because it is going to find a match right but three is not in this student table right in the department id column so then in that case it is going to have null so that is what this says that if you are not able to find a null value in the student id you just simply return the number of students in that department right but if you are able to find that then obviously then it is a zero right the number of students in that department is zero and you alias this as and then it also says we need to order by certain things right so we order by student number in descending order and in case of a tie by department name in ascending order right or alphabetically okay so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yep, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again very simple question even though it says medium difficulty but it's very simple all you had to do was first decide which table should be on the left side of the left join and why did we put department on the left side because the question says we need for each of the department present in the department table the number of students measuring in that right then we saw that okay from this uh, joined table we group by the department name and make sure that if the student id is null basically if there is no student in the student table you return zero otherwise you just return the number of students in the department you order by whatever is given in the question let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video